Slaughter rat. So, hello everybody. Today we are going to squat. Um, yeah, it's the third squat. floor and the ground floor that we are going to squat. Uh, if, if the ground floor takes too long uh, and the police is already there, then we have only squatted the, fir the third uh, floor. Uh, so, uh, in Nederland, if iedereen het wel begrepen. Ja, ja. 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 I study. I am uh, a full-time student. I study international business and management, and I can't study that anywhere else than in Amsterdam. Uh, basically, I've had to squat because I've been looking for a house for over uh, 16 months now, and it's been impossible. And I ha I have to live somewhere, so why not squatting? Well, I've been kicked out by my parents for a couple of times. And I've lived in a, in a rental place for about a half year, but it's really expensive. Uh, it's really hard for me to like feel anywhere at home. And like right now, it's like any squad house I'm in, and the people I'm with, they feel like family. Like it's a bigger conception of what, what is a house and where is your home. squatted a house. We are with a, a thing called the Kraaksbreker. It's a student Kraaksbreker. It's students who are um, just uh, squatters. And they're really good at this kind of thing. And uh, they're just helping people. If you want to squat a place, if you don't know anything about it, you can go to them and they will help you with everything. They will explain things and they will help you all the way. So that's that's really nice. Housing, living, it, it, it's a human right. It is for everyone. It's so important to have safety, to have a roof about your head and that you can, everyone can afford it. And that's why I find it uh, very important to be active and to be a part about that struggle to have a place for everyone. In the meanwhile, he, well, he's trying to rent it out. We think that he should let young people live here because uh, there's a shortage of 10,000 houses for young people in the city. By, by squatting, we're, we're fighting against uh, those property owners who buy up property, not with the intention of uh, using it as a place to live, but as an investment. If we squat the place, then that puts pressure on uh, housing owners to use their building, which means that there's more buildings for use, which means the price will be lower for people who have these up to, uh, to get a house. How it works is you take your bike and you ride through the city and then you see a, a lot of buildings where you think it is empty. Then you collect a lot of evidence. You ask a lot of friends to come and help and then you come to school. The building was open. We take in a table bed and chair. With the table bed and chair we show people that we really want to live there. Then we, we, we barricade the building apart so that, so that people don't camp in that easy. We call the police and they will come and they will uh, uh, conclude that the building is really, really empty and then uh, we live here. Because in Holland it is uh, legal to squat a place when it's uh, empty for a year or longer. And the cops are going to uh, <laughs> check if it's really empty and the police spokesperson will uh, go and uh, talk with them right now. But they were scared because there were so many. So, and they asked them, like, are they really aggressive? You know? <laughs> uh, the police want to answer with uh, three people because they arrived with uh, three people. And uh, for us it's very important to ensure the safety of the people that are going to live here and the people around us, that only two people can enter. And what uh, makes this interesting is that we invite them in. We do not have to allow them inside, but we invite them in to check that uh, the living space that we just squatted is in fact empty. And that is... Uh, uh, so, anyway, now they're coming back, and I hope they're going to... Uh, uh, they were willing to enter and that they will see that it is in fact empty. Squatting is for me a very direct way that you uh, give notice to a problem of housing and people being homeless and at the same time solving the problem. So what we always uh, like to say is that you live in your uh, form of action. 
and that's very appealing to me as a person, yeah. The police uh, got in with him and they say, yeah, it, was, uh, it is uh, really, really, really empty. So then you have a big applause and uh, people yell uh, boning notes, which is the Dutch term for, um, for shortage of housing. And uh, now we go inside and, and take care that really that, that, that people can live there and that no one can just come in that easy and uh, drink a beer already to celebrate. And uh, then uh, later this day we go to the next one. I think it's very good that Holland made a distinction between the ownership of property and the right to use the property. If you don't use the property responsibly, people um, are allowed and just justifiably allowed to, to use it. Every step you take in life, doesn't matter what you do, will change you. Uh, but I think squatting gives you a, a, a deeper perspective. And as a person, it's really cool to like develop that sense of like being respectful and being helpful to other people, like having more of a service to the community. What we're going to do is we go by bike and maybe there are some of you who do not have a bike. We just counted maybe seven. You can maybe switch or hop on somebody else's bike. Uh, when we go out here, we go to the left and then to the left again. Um, anything I missed? No. Okay, let's oh. squat it. Yes. My first squat was also my uh, own squat. I was so impressed by the people that just came out to help that I didn't even know these people. From that point on, I decided that I really wanted to help out in the community and help out other squatters with their squats or with just uh, the practical things. Tonight we, we met at 6 o'clock, uh, very close to this building, to the, to the famous pyramids where we are right now. We went together with I think like 60, 70 people. We went to the door, went inside. Now um, we are fixing the doors, we're getting, we're checking the building, and we're waiting for the police to come. Well, before it was just like individuals, individual squatters, individual students, and now when this, uh, like a big student union started squatting, I think that's a very important sign to this, both city council and the housing corporations, that really needs to be done on the topic of student housing. And we, are, we won't just wait, we will we'll take the houses that are empty for the coming time. We are doing a lobby every year with the, with the government and, and local authorities to uh, get more student houses built. And as you, every, every year we see that the result is way less than what they promised. And you know, for instance, they, last year they wanted to build 7,000 houses, they only built 200. So this year we decided to take it on a, another step, you know, and, uh, and make like a nice political statement. We had a nice little, how do you say, like a little marketing tool that we said there's pasta and beer for everybody. So we're going to get the beer and we're going to make the pasta real quick. So that helped a lot, I guess. And of course, there are a lot of squatters who do this years and just by, for loyalty, they do it. They help everybody out. Squatting is about helping each other and working for each other. It's about everything for everyone. You do it for an ideal. I've been to a couple more squats, but this is, was my first own squat. So, uh, I knew what was going to happen, and it, did, and it happened, but uh, this time, you know, the connection, an emotional connection, because it's your building and your effort and time, and it's, uh, it makes it uh, very beautiful to do this. So. It has definitely surprised me um, how diverse the squatting movement actually is, because um, I always thought that, of course, I had the stereotype image of squatters as well, as in workless um, hippies that just wanted the free places to stay. But, um, no, I've met so many different kinds of people. Students, hardworking people, young professionals, foreigners, a lot of foreigners, of course, working really hard just to stay here. All, all kinds of people. It's kind of a, a small image of what our society looks like. Mm -hmm.